Well, hello, good morning. I've tried three times to make this video, and people keep calling me in the middle of it, so I guess it's maybe that's uh, something I should think about, so I shouldn't do this assignment, but I have a new assignment for you. I think you'll like it. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I am wearing a UCSB sweatshirt today because I have three children who went there. I want to be warm, and I'd like to be on a nice beach with palm trees. And it's warm in Santa Barbara with sunshine, so today, since I own that campus, I feel like I'm wearing this shirt because it makes me feel like I'm with palm trees and ocean water. I know you think that's crazy, but that's the way it is. So, I have an alternative assignment for you if you choose to take it for both 142 and 143, so both classes will get this opportunity. In place of the critical thinking and class exercise, and then 143, the domain question, you may do this assignment. You'll have a written assignment to turn in, and you will find it posted this week on both classes. There is, on the 19th of March, a program being put on by Stanislaw County. <clears throat> I'm sorry for those of you who are out of county. You're still welcome to come to it. It's at night, night 7 to 9 o'clock. <clears throat> the county schools, uh, they have a big, huge auditorium. It's a huge building in downtown Modesto. And this is free to you. <clears throat> it's called Ending the Culture of Violence on School and College Campuses. And I think it's a very important issue. One of the things that I have asked in these classes before is, how do we prevent people from getting to the point where their minds are so affected by whatever they feel, bullying or whatever goes on in their lives? How do we prevent that so that they will not want to go out and kill everybody on campus or rape or do whatever they choose to do? And we've had a lot of violent episodes on schools across this country. And our job as people who provide for mental health type services is to try to come up with some sort of solution. We always seem a day late and a dollar short on getting to prevention issues. It's always, what could we have done that we didn't do? And by that time, the danger has already come and gone. But it will come again. And so this program might give us some opportunity to have a voice in that. So. This program will be um, a group of panel members, and I'll tell you who they are. Stanislaw County Sheriff Adam Christensen, the Office of Education Superintendent Tom Chignon, who I've known for many, many years. I've known Adam Christensen, too, but I really, really like Tom Chignon. Um, University of the Pacific Vice President for Student Life, Patrick Day. Oakdale Chief of Police, Lester Jenkins. Family Justice Center Executive Director, Tom Ciccarelli and uh, Behavioral Health and Recovery Services Director, Dr. Madeline Scheffler. And they're gonna talk about crime, high school dropouts, sexual assault, substance abuse, breakdown of the family unit, and mental health. And these are all issues that we're concerned with and that have uh, some sort of opportunity to use psychosocial rehabilitation. My question to you as an alternative and it's in writing and will be on Blackboard for you, uh, will concern the place of psychosocial rehabilitation and prevention. So I take this very seriously that this is something that we should have an active part in. And for those of you who are going to be doing field work of some sort, volunteering or working or whatever, may want to use any of these agencies uh, to volunteer time and might want to take a look at these issues that are coming up in all of our counties, no matter where you are. So, think about it, look at it. This video is just to give you a heads up. This is not a required assignment, it's an alternative assignment. No, you do not have to do this plus the other. You do one or the other. Either the class assignments is regularly assigned, or you do the write-up about what you got by attending this. I don't, I don't care what you do. I think that this information doesn't come that often with an opportunity to participate. So you might find it something that you would like that's current and right there. And you'll see some of your peers there and have an opportunity maybe to meet some of the others in the class and, and actually be able to talk about what's going on. So if you have any questions, you know you can call me. Um, 
I'd, I'd be glad to discuss it and hear your point of view on, on all of it. And I'm certainly interested for those of you who wish to attend that you uh, might have an opportunity to give some good input to the county or to all of these agencies on things that might be vital to them to use and how they present therapeutic treatment to members of the community. So if you have any questions, give me a call, send me an email, and take a look at the assignment. Thanks. Bye.